And we're starting out the show today being joined by another high school football coach. This time we're joined by Hedgesville head football coach, Matt Faircloth. How are you doing today, Coach Faircloth? Good, fellas. How about yourself? We're doing well, and for you, unfortunately, for your team on Friday, not the result that you all wanted uh, going up to Wheeling Island. What did you learn about your team in this one? I mean, we, we learned that we got to be able to get off the bus and be able to, to go out and, and punch them in the mouth first and not, not just get punched around. And for us, so we, we, we wanted that game. Uh, we want our program to be in that game. And at the end of the day, you know, we just didn't show up. So how do you, I guess, uh, move on from this loss and get the guys refocused for this week? Uh, practice this week's been a little bit more intense. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty intense guy. Uh, I'm not going to sit around and let our program, you know, go back to, to the way it was for us. We got to regroup, refocus, get the guys locked back in, and, you know, got to go out and execute a game plan. We had a game plan for Wheeling Park, but as soon as we got on the field, uh, didn't really execute it. And, that's the big thing for us is focusing on the game plan and making sure it come Friday night we execute it. Coach Faircloth, obviously the game didn't go the way that you guys expected it to. Only 32 total yards of offense being shut out and forcing four turn- turnovers did uh, Wheeling Park. I guess what was just the reaction in the locker room and how are you trying to keep the team's mindset positive after that? I mean, I thought, I thought the reaction in the locker room, you know, our leaders came in the locker room and you know, they they knew, they accepted, you know, at the end of the day, they didn't come to play. And for them, they knew it was get back to work on Saturday morning, and that's what they did. Uh, I mean, these guys, we, we got some really talented guys. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, the other parts around those guys have to be willing to sacrifice everything for the team. And, you know, Friday night, we got off the bus, and it, it was it was more of shock and awe because of the environment, and, you know, that's the that's the type of games we want to be in. So for us, you know, it's locked back in Saturday morning. We've been locked in this week. Uh, good practice so far. And at the end of the day, we're going to show up on Friday night and try to execute a game plan. Turning the page to Kaiser, they come into your place. They got a 28 nothing shutout victory over Robert C. Bird. What have you seen from them on film so far? Uh, I mean, they're, they're your typical Kaiser team. They're really fundamental up front. Uh, they got good size. And their kids play with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm. And that's your typical Kaiser team. They're going to come here and they're going to smack you in the mouth. And everything that we see on film is, you know, it's it's what you expect coming from a Kaiser football team. And they're physical on defense. They fly around. So for us, it's going to be, you know, we're going to have to show up. You know, they're coming here to knock off a triple A, and we got to show up. How do you, I guess... I guess look at them, and I mean they're a Double A program, but like you said, you know they're always a tough team to face. Does that impact anything at all with them being Double A, or is it just kind of business as usual? I mean, for us, it's got to be business as usual, and we got to come out, you know, after last week, and we got we got to set the tone early in this game, and you know, being on, being on our home field and not having to get on a bus and travel four hours and, and play. Uh, but for us, I mean, the double-A thing, it, it doesn't matter because I'm going to tell you right now, any time in high school football, if a team comes out and hits you in the mouth from the jump, they can take advantage of the game. They can get the momentum. And, and Kaiser's that type of team. That if you you give them the momentum, it's going to be hard to get it back because of the style of offense they play. They eat a lot of clock. You know, they're able to move the football. So if you get behind, it's a game that you're going to struggle to get back into. Coach Faircloth, what changes, if any, have been made or need to be made to make sure that things go better this time around against Kaiser? I mean, as, as far as changes, it, it, it's all about game plan. Uh, you know, we had all the game plan. We had it all figured out. And, you know, at the end of the day, when we, when we call stuff and we block it wrong or we call stuff and we run the wrong routes and that that all that stuff's got to be cleaned up, and and again, I, I I put a lot of it on the the environment that we were in. It was a really really good environment for Wheeling Park. I mean, that place was it was electric on Friday night, and I think it just it was shocking all for our kids. So for us, it's it's a changes as far as that goes. I mean, I don't think we need to change anything. I think we just need to execute. A quick follow-up, I guess, just with a short answer. Have you seen those changes in practice so far halfway through the week? 
thought we got the changes out of Monday. That's for sure. Uh, or uh, what we wanted out of them as far as if you're not going to block, you're not going to play. If you're not going to, you know, run the right routes, you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to play. For us, we, we want the kids on the field that know what they're doing, when they're supposed to be there, and how they're supposed to get it done. So for us, we found that on Monday and then the Tuesday. Uh, today will be a lot of team stuff to make sure the game plans in. And at the end of the day, you know, we I have a saying, and I learned it from Coach Marion at UNLV, you show how much you love your teammates by the way you block more. So if you're not willing to block one, you don't love your teammates. And that's the, we're, we're not all about that here. So you're either going to block or not play. Coach Faircloth, our guest. Thanks, thanks for the time, Coach, and uh, best of luck this Friday. We'll talk next week.